If you own a home, you probably own a furnace. And if you own a furnace, you know how important it is to have maintenance on it. We're here with Jim of Four Core Heating. And Jim, um, what happens during a maintenance checkup? What, what exactly is getting done to my furnace when somebody shows up? Well, Randy, first thing is a pair of trained eyes are coming down to look at that uh, furnace, which is very good because uh, we want to make sure mainly that it's safe and it's operable, okay? And the first thing my guys do is just kind of look over the whole uh, mechanical situation, see if there's any broken or loose pipes. You'd be amazed at what we find. I've found duct systems that the hangers came loose and they were practically ready to fall onto the basement floor. Um, you know, I've seen flue pipes knocked off hot water tanks and, and the, the, the uh, hot water tank exhaust was just spilling into the basement. So we're looking at all that. Uh, we'll look at, then we'll look at also your add-on appliances, like your humidifier, if you use it, is it working, is it clean, is it operable? Uh, we wanna make sure the drains are clear because uh, if you have a high efficiency furnace, humidifier, those are both tied into a drain. Uh, so we wanna make sure it's clear and open. Uh, your filter, we wanna make sure your air cleaner or your filter's clean. That's very important. People underestimate that and uh, they, they go way too long because even if it's not dirty enough to cause you a no heat situation, the dirtier it is, it'll raise your gas bill. Okay. I always ask people, even if they're tenants, I'll say, who pays the gas bill here? Oh, I do. You change the filter? No, I don't worry about that. That's the land. So, well, it's in your interest to, to change it because that's going to affect your gas bill. Clean yep. filter means a low gas bill. Now we're going to check the safeties. Okay. If it's a gas burning furnace, um, or anything, we're going to check the safeties, make sure that house isn't going to blow up or burn down. We're going to clean the flame sensor, which is, is routine, which is usually a very common failure. There are all the furnaces now are direct ignition, and that's a must do that you clean the flame sensor. Um, we're going to check the motors, make sure the bearings are good, they're clean. We're going to check um, the draft to make sure it's not spilling. Then. We're going to take a combustion analysis. We're going to make sure that thing's burning at the right at the right uh, uh, efficiency, and we're going to make sure it's safe. If it's if it's over if it's got over 400 parts per million carbon monoxide in the exhaust gases, the gas company considers that an unsafe appliance. We got to know that, so we are going to do a combustion analysis on it. We're going to do a temperature rise to see if that furnace is moving the heat through the duct system the way it should, or if it's running too hot. We're going to check the heat exchanger and see if we're seeing any distortion in the flames, any problems with the possibly a cracked or leaking heat exchanger. And if there's anything that needs addressed, uh, that, that needs attention, we'll be able to bring it to the customer's attention right there, and they'll be able to act on it. And because I always tell people that if you're gonna have a problem, it's not gonna happen at a convenient time. It's gonna be Christmas Eve, New Year's Day, and 90% of the problems we will catch in uh, tune-ups because they're preventable. It's dirt in the wrong place, or it's a motor that was getting tight that should have been replaced. So I think they're a very worthwhile uh, endeavor. And we not only do them it's your, when you call us, but we also have programs where we can sign you up and do it on a regular basis. Do the same thing for your air conditioning. So you'd see us in the spring to make sure your air conditioning is in the best shape. And then you'd see us in the fall to make sure your heating system is ready to go. Well, I'll tell you what, Jim, that sounds really, really complete. I mean, you mentioned a lot of things or I would even, you know, imagine gone on. So that, that's a heck of a, it's, you basically give a, the furnace quite the physical, don't you? <laughs> that's. You're poking and prodding all over the place. So, hey, if your furnace hasn't had a physical for a while, you should get one done. And Four Core Heating and Cooling is a great uh, place to uh, do it. So drop by the website, fourcoreheating.com, and check them out.